Hey everyone and welcome to today's YouTube video. I was going to say YouTube channel. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new around here. It's a very exciting video. Um, whenever I do a Primark call, it's always exciting. Um, I think that you guys love Primark calls and I don't blame you because I watch so many of them myself. I'm always jealous about what other people seem to be able to get in their stores. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces. I'm trying not to like buy unnecessary things um if you guys are new around here i am currently expecting a baby um i'm about six months pregnant now um so i've got like a few little maternity bits and stuff that i wanted to share with you guys and also some accessories um i actually went to two stores two different primark stores this time around um my local one and then one a little bit further afield um so these are kind of bits I've been picking up over the past few weeks and few months and I just thought I would bulk everything together and share everything that I picked up with you guys. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm really sorry I've had a few weeks off. Um, there's no real reason, I'm just pregnant <laughs> and I get tired and I can't be bothered to film. Um, so that's my excuse really. So yeah, I think my video is going forward. I'm going to I really try and upload every Sunday where possible, but they're just going to be a bit more ad hoc to be completely honest with all, with all of you. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to, to subscribe as well. That really helps my channel out. But otherwise, um, yeah, get comfy and let's get going with the video. Okay, so let's start with a few clothing bits um, that I did pick up. It was just a few bits. Again, I'm trying, I've got um, a maternity, sort of like mat maternity nightwear that I'm going to show with you guys in a moment, but I'm trying not to buy like loads of maternity clothes because I'll, like the odd bit here and there is fine, but I don't want to like spend loads of money on maternity clothes when I hope anyway that I'm not going to be wearing them for like months and months and you know years and stuff um i'm just living in like biggie big baggy like button down shirts leggings stretchy trousers that kind of thing um oh my battery's flashing that's really annoying um but yeah so anyway i like i say i'm living in leggings and stuff at the moment so i picked up a new pair of leggings these aren't maternity or anything but they do have quite a nice thick waistband at the top I went for these in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. Hoping that will be okay. They obviously are quite stretchy. Um, and these are five pounds. I feel they were six actually. Maybe they've gone down, which is unusual. I feel like everything's going up rather than down at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got a pair of those. I own these in a really nice gray color as well. And they're just really, really convenient um, and comfy. Something else very convenient and comfy at, for me at the moment is Primark bras just like the stretchy ones so this is a three pack i picked up um these i actually picked up a few weeks ago from primark so you can see i have already opened them um i believe i paid 11 or 12 pounds which again i think that price has gone up on these bras but it's still fairly cheap um and they're just the they look like a little sports bra just a stretchy you pop it over your head and you get the black a mild gray color and then white as well and i think i went for these in a medium as well yeah a medium again which is a 12 to 14. i feel like i'm gonna have to size up in these soon um, and get a large which for me i've got little boobs to be completely honest um so that is also very <laughs> unusual um but yeah i love these even when i'm not pregnant i lived in these and like the little triangle ones as well um so a big fan of those the maternity pyjamas that I mentioned, these are so soft. Um, I mean, I can see myself wearing these when I'm not pregnant if they last that long. But again, they're in a really lovely mild light wash grey colour. Obviously, you can see they've got the big band because they are maternity. And I think maternity stuff has like a longer... I uh, don't know what this bit is. I guess it's just the stomach area so it can go over a bump. Um, and then they have pockets, which is really nice. This fabric is so soft. I wish you could feel it. And they go all the way down and then they just cuff at the bottom. Um, these you buy as separate. So the bottoms I got in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. And I'm pretty sure they were 14 pounds just for the bottoms. 
And then the top I also picked up in a medium, which was 15 pounds. I think the bottoms were actually 15 as well. Um, and that's kind of one of the classic pajama so long sleeve tops just a button down they did a few variations of this i think they did a little strappy top they also did um shorts if you prefer shorts over the long bottoms but i just thought this was a really lovely set um again one of my favorite things to do at the moment is after like a long day go and have a shower and put on a fresh pair of pajamas so i'm living in pajamas as well these are so soft um a little bit pricey i guess like for the set it's 30 pounds but i know already i'm gonna get so much wear out of these maybe a little bit um premature but i did pick up a pair of flip flops um just the 90p ones i think they are um just in the white and they're not for what you might think i'm not going on holiday again um <laughs> and they're not even for summer in the uk but I thought these would be really handy to take to the hospital with me, um, like when I might go for a shower, something like that, just to throw something on my feet, um, yeah, like when I go to the bathroom and everything like that, so I picked up those, um, I mainly got them, I thought I saw them and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, just going to get them whilst I see them, because I feel like in the winter they're not going to have any flip flops in store, and that's when babies do in the winter months, so um yeah i just thought i'd pick those up for 90p as well okay moving on to some accessories i picked up some of the sachets um like the wardrobe sachets that they do i used to buy these quite a lot and then kind of just stopped um so they just look like this i've actually opened this one and it's been hanging no it's not been hanging it's been sitting in my underwear drawer um and this one is amber and nectarine it smells so good i really like this and look how pretty the little image is it's kind of like greek vibes i thought that looks really nice and then i also went for a cedarwood and vanilla one um it's kind of more like autumn on it um, i haven't used this one just yet these have gone up i'm sure these again used to be like 80p or a pound and they're now one pound 30. um but yeah i found um that i was taking some pajamas like out of my drawers and they had like a wood smell to them i think maybe some pajamas that i haven't worn since maybe like last winter and stuff and because my drawers are like they're just like ikea wood they smell of the drawers so i just thought these would be perfect and they definitely helped with that um so recommend these um yeah i think they just look really pretty as well if you want to hang them on a hanger or something in your wardrobe i then picked up just a couple of makeup brushes um i went for the contour brush um which looks like this this was just one pound fifty and then i also picked up the kabuki brush which was two pounds, just a small little fluffy brush. My contour brush is quite dense. I think it's made more for cream contour and bronzer and stuff. And I wanted more of a fluffy one, just to kind of brush um, bronzer all over my face. So I haven't opened this one up, but I kind of pushed it like this in store and it looks a lot more fluffy than my other one. Let me show you my other one. So the other one's just a real techniques, but I don't know if you can, it's just quite, dense um it's still great for bronzer but yeah i just wanted more of a fluffy one as well and then i thought the kabuki brush would be really good just for kind of dusting some loose powder like all over my face again i've got a small powder brush that i use for under my eyes for my concealer but um yeah i tend to like dust a bit of the powder using that brush i think it's just a little bit small though so i thought this would be perfect and i think um primark makeup brush is actually really good quality for the price um, I'd even go as far to say that they are a bit of a dupe for the Real Techniques ones. I then picked up some scrunchies. Um, how cute are these colours? Um, I mainly picked these ones up just for the brown one. Obviously, I've got dark hair. And I thought this burnt orange colour was really, really nice as well, obviously, especially for autumn months. Um, the pink one, I'm not really a pink person. I probably won't wear the pink one, to be honest. My mum might like the pink one maybe but yeah you've got three in here obviously for £2.50 and I just like like how I've got my hair in a bun today I like to put a big scrunchie over the top of it so that's kind of what I do with my scrunchies anyway um and they're just a really nice satin fabric as well and then last but definitely not least because this is so cute um can we just appreciate <laughs> this little mushroom um I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Obviously, it is just an ornament. Um, 
uh, it will probably go in my living room somewhere like the coffee table or like my tv unit something like that i don't go crazy in autumn with like pumpkin decor and autumn decor i just have a few little bits dotted around here and there just subtle things but i couldn't resist this i thought it was so cute it was three pound fifty which i didn't think was bad at all um and it is like china um or ceramic anyway but yeah i just love that it was so cute primark actually had amazing autumnal pumpkin vibe things they had like a whole wall of like wreaths candles like primark primark pumpkin dishes um for like the kitchen like casserole dishes that kind of thing um they did like a knitted pumpkin also like some wicker ones like quite like big ones that you could put but again i did have to hold myself back because i don't need them and i've definitely got pumpkins from last year and if you recently saw my hobby craft haul i picked up a few little pumpkins as well so yeah i did have to restrain myself sorry guys i had to um put you on charge because you completely died but the toadstool mushroom was the final thing that i picked up from primark this time round. so thank you so so much for watching today's video especially if you have made it to the end um i hope that i've shared a few things that you guys might like to pick up but like i said the autumn stuff in the homeware section in primark um was amazing so if that's a bit of you and you love autumn as well then definitely check them out um please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well i'd love for all of you guys to stick around over here um i do promo calls quite regularly so if you're here specifically for that reason there will definitely be more in the future i try and do one every month um it's where i get all my restocks from when i run out of things and everything like that so i'm there quite a lot so stay tuned for more primark videos but thank you so much again and hopefully i'll see all of you in my next video thanks guys bye